Yeah, I, I interviewed Bob a long time ago for the Meet the Maker stuff back in 2003 or so. Yeah. Talked for talked with him for a long time. I mean, he's he's like you said, he's a you know ex marine. I'm sure, he rides a motorcycle, big leather jacket, sponsors all the GoDaddy girls. You know, his uh, commercials are too hot for the Super Bowl, right? Uh, this one, you know, even more out there. Um, just so I, I thought about it from sort of a business perspective. Yep. I mean, here's a guy. They went to IPO a few years ago. They pulled back out of that. They just announced, I think it was a week, two weeks ago, maybe three days ago, that he's putting the company up for sale. He wants a billion dollars. It's a billion dollars for GoDaddy. I've seen stuff on them kind of rise and fall. They had a big deal with um, – they were the uh, registrar of choice for uh, Matt's um, – uh, WordPress.com until WordPress became a registrar. Yep. So you know, so you see them have deals, lose deals, whatever. They con- tons of cash. They want a billion dollars, and then he kills an elephant, and everybody on the planet thinks he's you know a schmuck now. When they didn't think he was a schmuck for GoDaddy girls in a shower too hot for the Super Bowl. Um, so it's just it's perplexing. You know, it's so right you're in saying what did you expect? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's like Gilbert Gottfried making jokes about the tsunami. And Howard Stern going, what the hell did you guys expect? It's what he does. I mean, uh, yeah, remember like the he... aristocrats, you know? Yeah. So, so this is right up his alley, and it's not a surprise. And, I, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'd love to know how much their business rises and falls based on this, this elephant mm-hmm. video. I mean, it's, I think it's a stupid thing, but I think it's totally in character. James, your thoughts? Well, you know, a, a life is not just one moment. So whether or not, you know, however you judge him on this moment, let's not forget, he wasn't just in the Marines. He was a, he was a wounded veteran. He spent two months in a hospital re- recovering. He, um, you know, you mentioned he, he pulled his IPO. I think it was 2004, 2005. I actually spoke to him the day he pulled the IPO. And there were very good reasons. He was protesting the way the SEC's accounting standards unfairly uh, values companies like his that are enormous cash generating uh, companies. But he wasn't allowed to recognize that cash for, till, for years in, in advance. And so, again, I think the guy's always stood up for what he's believed in. And I don't know the exact circumstances. He's def- he, he says one thing, other people says another thing. Who knows? But I, I think the guy has, has had many achievements in his life and shouldn't be judged on just this one moment here. Uh, wow. I use GoDaddy. Uh, that is a uh, really level-headed uh, approach to it. Uh, Jason Nazar, what do you, what do you think? Is this something you would ever conceive of doing, like as a CEO of a company? I mean... Well, this is the first time I saw it. Right. The, the guy is obviously a master of building buzz and getting press. I don't yeah. think anyone can put that aside, and we're here talking about it. Which yeah. Like, right, right was, about now, I'm wondering yeah. why I never killed anything and recorded yeah. it. I mean, can you imagine? But this I is, mean, uh, like this a is for me getting this kind of close to almost like the island of Dr. Moreau. Which yeah. is, you know, apocalypse now. It's it's almost the it's sense of, like, this is getting a little eerie and scary. It is a little scary, like, to videotape the villagers ripping the meat and yeah. flesh from it in a GoDaddy hat. That's, it's just, it feels, that's the approach I had with it, which, this is weird. You've been watching This Week in Startups. To watch the full episode, click here. To check out some other shows from This Week in, click here.